Hey there, in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to use FL Studio Speech Chart to tune your vocals correctly. Now FL Studio Speech Chart is a simple but very powerful plugin and I'll show you how to get the most out of it in this lesson. If you're new, hit the subscribe button down below and let's get started. So right here we have FL Studio Speech Chart, it's a very easy to use plugin I'll be showing you the parts that you really need to concern yourself with, okay? So right here we have this minor which is where you select the scale, typically it's in, it's in minor so you can change it to the scale when you find the key of your beat, okay? And I'm sure to find the key of your beat shortly. So this is the scale, then this is the key signature, okay? C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F and all of that, okay? And then this is how fast you want the tuning, so if you want that classic auto tune or you know that t pain effect style you want to be faster and if you want more natural and you know less obvious settings you need to be relaxed maybe medium or even slow okay and then right here we have the gender let's if you want to change it from format you want to have like a deep voice or a tiny chipmunk style voice make sure the format is on while you adjust this okay and then you also use this fine tuning for any reason you want to change the key you want to change the pitch of the sample because you can use this for not just vocals you can also use this for other instruments as well and then right here you can also harmonize create harmonies by clicking this to generate harmonies from your vocal and you can even play midi notes in but for this tutorial i'll be showing you how to just simply use this plugin to make your vocals sound really good like you didn't go off key while you were singing even if you went off key while singing okay so to get the key of your business a free website you can go to tunebat forward slash analyzer and you simply drag and drop your beats into this place right here i'm going to tell you the key and you can see it's saying a flat major and you can also see the as the tempo as well a flat major now when you come to picture you may be confused if you do not see a flat major that's not an issue just click the key so a flat is actually the same as g sharp okay because flat is when you go backwards and sharp is when you go forward okay so g sharp okay major all right so now we've gotten the key of this which is very important so let's hear the vocal to see how it sound without it yeah, you didn't make me single, my lady. Oh, you're the only one, girl. I don't see no. Now you may not want this robotic auto tune effect, and we'll fix that. But one thing I should also point out with this plugin is it's important that you know you actually get the key correctly, or with any tuning plugin, really. Because if I had to maybe change it from major to minor, this is how the vocal will sound. Do re mi -o. Yeah, you didn't make me single. My lady, oh, you're the only one girl I know. You can see it sounds terrible, but if I to also change the key from you know G sharp to maybe A, because I'm quite, I'm quite confused A and A flat decide to sound. Do re mi -o. Yeah, you didn't make me single. My lady, oh. So with any tuning plugin, especially picture in FL Studio, you need to make sure you get the key signature correctly okay so now we've gotten that so remember i said in the speed right here we can use to adjust how much of the auto tuned sound we want so i'm just going to come all the way to medium and then adjust from here so this is where i i get more of that balance between um proper pitching and that natural vibe Do re mi -o. Yeah, you didn't make me single, my lady oh you're the only one girl i don't see nobody oh. Yeah, wanna do this life thing all with you, my lady with you, with you, do re mi oh, you do make me single, my lady oh, yeah. Now I should also point out that some artists like that auto-tuned effect, so it doesn't always have to be natural, you can just simply dial this to fit the taste or the vibe you want. Do re so let's hear with the beats. When it's off. And then when it's on again. You can hear the way so it just makes the vocal sounds better, right? So even if maybe you were on key, you just need that modern pop vocal feel. You can just add a little bit of it, maybe on medium or even lesser setting. So it's going to give you that 
modern pop vocal sound. So if I were to remember I talked about the format, so if I were to turn on the format and I adjust this, this had to sound. You can even automate this to get creative effects on your vocals if you if you are into that type of stuff. And then you can also change the pitch. But be careful when changing the pitch with the fine tune. See now it's going off key. You can see it's going off key, so we'll take it back to zero. Make sure it's on zero exactly. Now this sounds pretty good, so let's also compare it to a more premium plugin, which is AutoTune itself, the most popular vocal tuning software. So I'm going to turn off picture and then also set the key. Keep this here. We're going to do a shootout soon, but let's set it um, low mill. You can see you have more settings in FL Studio. Um, major, I remember it was A flat. And then the, the return speed is simply just like the speed right here, how much of the correction you want. And then the flex tune, unlike this, this has a flex tune which actually preserves that natural vibe of the vocal. So if you more natural vocals, you can increase this to get more natural sounding tuned vocals, all right? Then you also have humanized for when you hit, like maybe notes that have long sustain, that means you have a shaky vocal. You can use this to prevent it from sounding like it was over tuned or sounding like it's a glitch going on there. So you can use this humanized feature to preserve that natural vibrato you had in your vocal. So let's just do, you know, let's do a fair comparison. Maybe I'll take this to like nine, and then maybe have this somewhere here. Let's see how autotune sounds. Picture is currently off and autotune is on. Let's increase this a little bit more and see. Now let's see picture. Again, auto tune. So if you found this tutorial helpful, hit the like button and subscribe for more tutorials, tips and tricks.